You remember my cousin Rita? <gasps> Rita. Annie. Hi. Oh, I haven't seen you since you graduated high school. Oh my gosh. Mm. She has three kids now. Three boys. Yes. They're so cute. <laughs> they are cute, but oh. when they reach that age, they're disgusting. They smell, they're sticky. They say things that are horrible, and there is semen all over everything, okay? Disgusting. I cracked a blanket in half. Do you get where I'm going with that? Do you? I cracked it in half. I can't wait to be married for as long as you've been married. And to have kids. And be a mom. Yeah? The other night, I'm slaving away making a beautiful dinner for my family. My youngest boy comes in and says he wants to order a pizza. I said, no, we're not ordering pizza tonight. He goes, Mom, why don't you go and fuck yourself? He's nine. Hello? Annie, it's Rita. Hi. Listen. I need a trip that I can fantasize forever so that I'm able to have sex with my husband. That's why I'm thinking Vegas. Hang on. Hey! Shut your filthy fucking mouths. I'm sorry. Okay. Surrounded by savages. You know, I can get cocaine from my hairdresser. I want balls in my face. Balls. I can't believe you've never been with anybody else. Just Kevin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, Becca, I just can't help but feel bad for you. You don't even know what you want. Kevin can only have sex in bed, in the dark, under the covers, only after we've showered separately that's why every girl needs those slutty college years to experiment get it out of your system find out what you like sorry excuse me um could i have a glass of alcohol when you get a chance two double seven and sevens is that you'll like it it's sweet so you don't even have sex anymore oh no i have i have sex constantly the sex is constant but he hasn't kissed me in five years. What are you doing when you're having sex then? Thinking about other things and wishing it would stop. You know, sometimes I just want to watch The Daily Show without him entering me. I don't, I don't want you to be a big fuck up like me. Mm -mm. You, how do you think I feel? Like me. No, you can still turn it around. No, don't. Don't. You're more beautiful than Cinderella. You smell like pine needles and you have a face like sunshine. Every pregnancy just chips away at everything you used to be. I used to be pretty. I used to have a personality. I faked a heart attack in front of the television. What? They said I was blocking the TV. You know, I have an alter ego on Facebook. Her name is Lacey. She's 13 and she has a whale tail. And you know what a whale tail is, the thong that sticks out of the back of the... Shh. Oh, yes. They accepted Lacey's request. So Lacey messages them on their walls and says, wear a jacket. Don't forget to button up. Did you take out the trash? I live in a field of penises. It's like a sword fight, and I am the only one without a sword. They have sucked the pretty right out of me. They treat me like shit, and I do their laundry. Lucky me. It is nothing but sports and hairs, just fluids and dirty things and smells, cups of this and that. It's a laundry situation that you don't want to know about. I've got to take underwear out and beat it against the fence. That's embarrassing. I got to buy a new washer. It's like a minimum security prison in my house. It's just like Oz. I've got three little masturbators at home. Oh, come I'm on. sorry. They hit the age where they start to discover their bodies. And guess who gets to clean up the mess? I can't walk through parts of my house without my shoes. I caught my oldest son watching porn the other night. I told them, can you at least vacuum or something while you're doing that? There are places in my house where the carpet is as hard as AstroTurf. And yes, I'm talking about their rooms and the den. Wherever there's a computer or a DVD player. Don't even ask me what they do with my Cosmopolitan magazines. Oh. Those are biohazards now. Oh, God. Do you know what sexting is? No. I've done some stuff in my life, but I have never done that. Tweens, okay, 12, 13-year-old girls send my son's pictures of them doing the most degrading things mm -mm. with stuffed animals. No. And I look at their phones and I think, who does that with a stuffed animal and a Pop-Tart? Your grandma probably bought you that bunny. She didn't buy it for you to do that. That's a fuzzy bunny. That's a cuddly bunny. 
He belongs up here, not down here. Stop it. Paul is a sex god, and I'm lucky to have him. God is my god, and also my boyfriend before I met Kevin. I like having sex when I'm sick. I like getting it when I don't want it. For your information, I like having sex one way, under the covers, after I've showered by myself. For your information, I uh, don't need Paul to tell me he loves me when he's in me. For your information, I'm super happy I waited. For your information, passionless sex is underrated. For your information, Hans Christian Andersen is sexy. For your information, sex is better when the discovery is over. It's faster. For your information, sex with two crucifixes in the room is more pleasant. My husband put my headband on my head today. It's really nice. Thank you. And you guys giggle together in bed. <laughs> have little names for each other <laughs> tickle each other and just have a tickle yeah. party yeah. And you really it like tickles little... me until I cry <laughs> well enjoy it because it's not going to last let me tell you a little story Mother's Day do you know what I got? Mm -mm. a framed picture of me wearing shorts bending over a picnic basket at a 4th of July picnic and it said happy Mother's Day ham slacks after what I've been through down there, I feel like I'm wearing a fanny pack made of skin. It's surprising I can still sit on a bar stool without enveloping the whole thing in my crevices. <laughs> you think this place smells funny? Try coming to my house, okay? I live with four men. It smells like ass, balls, and armpits. It smells like someone pissed into an open bottle of vitamins and then put their socks in there and stuck their finger in their belly button. It smells like someone lit a booger on fire and then smoked a cigarette. It smells like someone farted pizza into a litter box. It smells like someone jizzed into a bag of Fritos and then threw it at the Christmas tree. It smells like someone threw up into a sweat sock and then cooked some bacon. It smells like someone peed on a wet dog, threw some leaves at it, and set it on fire. And you know what? That might have happened. 